The Vernier Mini GC Plus is an instrument for separating, analyzing, and identifying substances contained in a volatile liquid or gaseous sample. The Mini GC Plus can detect and distinguish between families of compounds such as alcohols, ketones, esters, and halogenated alkanes. A complete list of compounds that can be used in the Mini GC Plus is available under Appendix A in the user guide. The column of the Mini GC Plus can be operated at temperatures ranging from 30 degrees to 160 degrees Celsius. The MEMS chip sensor can be operated at two levels of sensitivity, allowing for a greater range of compounds and injection volumes to be used. For personal protection, we recommend open reagent containers be handled in a hood or well-ventilated area and appropriate safety equipment be used. The Mini GC Plus is a USB device and can be used with the computer running Logger Pro or LabQuest. This session will go over instructions for collecting data using LabQuest 2 and the Mini GC Plus, along with peak integration function available under the Analyze menu. Make sure LabQuest 2 has been updated to 2.1 or newer. This free update is available on our website. You will need a 1 microliter syringe, a vial of ethanol or acetone to rinse your syringe, and your sample. A Hamilton 1 microliter syringe is included with the Mini GC Plus. This rinse vial contains acetone. The sample is a one-to-one -one mixture of ethanol and 2-butanone. Prepare the Mini GC Plus for data collection. Connect the Mini GC Plus to an electrical outlet. Turn on the Mini GC using the on-off switch located on the left side. Connect the USB cable to the USB port of LabQuest. LabQuest will auto-ID the Mini GC Plus. Select File, New, to ensure software settings are set to default values. Tap on Collect to bring up the temperature pressure profile. Depending on your sample, you may need to modify these parameters to obtain good separation. For this sample mixture, change the pressure to 4 kPa. Data collection will end after 20 minutes. Make sure the duration of the run is long enough to ensure all the compounds have passed through the column. Select Done to initiate Mini GC warm-up. A new message will appear. Do not inject until GC is ready and the LED on the Mini GC Plus will be red. The Mini GC will take a few minutes to warm up and stabilize. While waiting, flush your syringe with a sample to be tested. The glass syringe is fragile. Be careful not to bend the needle or bend the plunger. Never pull the plunger back more than 50% of the total volume. Submerge the tip of the needle into the vial containing the sample. Pull back the plunger to fill the barrel about one third full. Expel the liquid onto a paper towel. Repeat this process two more times. Then collect the volume of the sample for injection. Submerge the needle into the vial containing your sample. Pull your plunger back, drop approximately 0.2 microliters of liquid. After collecting your sample, gently wipe the needle from barrel to tip. When the Mini GC Plus has reached the correct start temperature and pressure, the message reads, inject and select collect simultaneously, and the LED on the Mini GC Plus is green. Hold the syringe with one hand, steady the needle with the other hand, supporting the needle guard and the lower part of the needle with two fingers to prevent the possible bending of the needle. Insert the needle into the injection port until the needle stop is fully seated. If the needle sticks, rotate it slightly while inserting. Do not move the plunger yet. With the help of my lab partner, I will simultaneously depress the syringe plunger and select collect to begin data collection. Pull the needle out of the injection port immediately. While the data collection proceeds, thoroughly clean the syringe and needle with acetone. It may take more than three flushes to feel the syringe plunger move smoothly again, which is your indicator that the syringe and needle are both suitably clean.
To identify the retention time for a peak, tap on the graph on the screen. This will bring up the examine line. Move the examine line to the top of the peak by tapping on the screen. To fine tune the location, use the nudge tools located at the bottom of the graph. The time displayed represents the retention time for the selected peak. Another analysis tool is peak integration. Tap on Analyze, choose Advanced, choose Peak Integration, then Signal. To select and integrate the peak, drag across the graph from a little before the peak to a point far enough to the right so that the entire peak is selected. Choose Add. Enter the name of the compound, if known. Tap twice on peak 1 and type in ethanol. Choose Done. Repeat these steps until all peaks have been analyzed. For the second peak, typing in 2-butanone. When you're complete, press OK. This will bring up the plot details, then select OK to return to your graph. For additional information, including maintenance, troubleshooting, and product specifications, please refer to the user guide or visit our website.